Action. Hello, my name is Dr. Bad Hair Day, and this is my Anatomy of a Sponge show, where you will learn all about the anatomy of a sponge. Sponges have many pores, hence their phylum name, Periphera. Pores are also called ostia, for the record. The pores cover the entire surface of the sponge, and they're located on the outer walls. All pores are different sizes. They are important because they allow both water and food to enter the sponge. I am a sponge lacking pores. <coughs> the osculum is a large opening in the sponge, which is located at the top. <laughs> It's also referred to as a large pore and the mouth of the sponge. It's the only exit of the sponge, and so it releases water and unwanted residents. The osculum is the only way the sponge can react to its environment because the ocean current affects the osculum sides. Tango osculum! I'm God! I'm taking away your osculum! Ah! No tango osculum! That's right. I took away your osculum. What? Go. Okay. Spicules are tiny and needle-like. The type and shape, though, is unique to each species of sponge. They're made from calcium and silica. It's part of the sponge's skeleton. Right there. The little blue things. It protects the sponge from predators and also serves in the support of the sponge. Spicules also stick to the prey so that it won't escape so the sponge can eat. And they grow around the osculum. Hey! A sponge without spicules! Sponges have no tissues, so in order to do main functions, they have cells. The two major types of cells are collar cells and epithelial-like cells. The collar cells line the inside of the sponge. They have an individual flagella, which we'll learn more about later, and they help catch food. The amoeba-like cells are in the jelly substance between... Yeah, that's where it is. And, in general, the cells aid in digestion, eggs, sperm, excretion, and collecting and spreading food for the sponge. I'm a sponge without cells, and I'm really, really hungry. The central cavity is where the water enters when it enters the sponge, it's where it goes. And the flagella line this cavity, obviously because we've established that they're attached to collar cells. And flagella, what they are is they're basically long cell bodies and they whip the water so that the water can go out through the osculum. And flagella also help capture food for the sponge. And so, obviously when they whip the water, it only goes one direction, which is out the osculum. And that's how they filter water, which why is why they're called filters of the sea. I have no flagella. The water is sedentary. It's building up. Oh no! <laughs> if you've paid attention, you now know all about the anatomy of a sponge. Thank you for watching. Hello. <laughs> Action. Hello. My name. Can we start it? Action. On yours, Holly? I don't know. Beg a dog, of course. Go. Hello. My name is Dr. Bad Hair Day. And today. <laughs> Back off! I had it! <laughs> Stop recording. <laughs> Can't hit the button.
button. Turn off. Becca, stop. Wait, what do I not have? I have no flagellas. <laughs> Is that how you say it?